Isn't it shameful enough that we do not know that celebrating Christmas is a pagan ritual? Isn't it shameful enough that we have the greatest Christmas tree in the Muslim countries? Where we can find this man, Bat Robertson, a Protestant who has the 777 Christian Club. He's a well-known Christian preacher who had to admit that this is a pagan ritual. It was Christianized by the Romans who would refuse to give up their pagan feasts. So they Christianized it. Let's hear what this Christian preacher says, that everything in Christmas is pagan. Okay, this is David who says, we have friends who do not celebrate Christmas because they say December 25th is really a pagan holiday. While I agree that Jesus may not have been born on December 25th, he certainly was born as described in the Bible. How do I respond to them? Well, in a sense, tell them they're right. Uh, you see, the, the, the winter solstice a couple of days later was the shortest day of the year, and the pagans had something called Saturnalia. And it was a time of lawlessness because all the laws were suspended. And people, the, a bunch of singers were actually wandered the streets naked singing. And, and then they had orgies, sexual orgies. It was a mass thing. Well, when the Catholic Church came along in Italy, the, the Romans and others didn't want to give up their holidays. So they said, okay, we'll Christianize it. And uh, so they said, okay, we'll say the birth of Jesus was the 25th of December. So all this business about mistletoe, pagan. Christmas trees, pagan. Giving out gifts, pagan. Every bit of it is pagan. Every single bit of it is pagan. We've Christianized it all. And uh, so that's good. And so we have time. We celebrate for Jesus. And everybody gets all misty-eyed. But the truth is, we, they're all pagan. In fact, 25 of December is the birthday of Mithra, the god of the Romans, the son of God. His birthday was on the 25th of December. They Christianized it. They put the same birthday on Jesus, who was born, according to the Bible, who was born in, in the summer, not in the winter. Because the day he was born, the shepherds had to hide their sheep from the heat of the sun. So that means it's a summer time. It is not the winter time. A Christian preacher admits that this is a pagan ceremony. Yet, in our Muslim countries, we have the leaders who holify that Christmas, this pagan Roman inherited paganism. And they build a big tree, which costed them something like $11 million. $11 million. Look at that big tree in the Emirates in Abu Dhabi. It's very costly. $11 million? <laughs> you can save thousands of lives in Africa. You think God will not be asking them about uh, this money? I forget about the money. The worst thing is the pagan belief. How do they allow it in the peninsula, which is supposed to be the core base of Islam? The Prophet did not allow any paganism to re-enter the peninsula after the Prophet, peace be with him, purified it from pagan beliefs. One may ask this question. Since we say to you, when your feast day comes, you know, Eid al-Adha, Eid al-Fatr, don't we say to you, Eid Mubarak? So why don't you say to us, Merry Christmas? You know what is your problem? I'll tell you what is your problem. You live and then you die. You don't know what is the principle of life. You don't know why you were created. You don't know why you're living. You don't know why you die. You don't know what's going to happen to you after death. Do you know that in our perspective, celebrating the birth of Jesus is to us an insult to God Almighty? Because you're celebrating what? The birthday of the one whom you say he is God. And this is an insult to God Almighty. 
Let's have a look at this narration. Allah the Almighty says, The son of Adam has denied me, and that is not his right to do so. And the son of Adam has insulted me, and that is not his right. As for the denial of me, he claimed that I'm unable to bring him back as he used to be. That means resurrecting him after his death. And as for his insulting me, he claimed that I have a son and I'm all praised, all praise due to me. It is not fitting that I should have a wife or son. That's why. Don't think about why Muslims did not share with us this celebration. Think about what is their belief in this and that claiming that God has a son is an insult to God and you want them to share with you this celebration. They won't. This is a principle and there is no bargain with regards to the matter of principle. That's the case. With the matter of principle, there is no compromise. So since you do not deal with any principle, we can't be like you. We live with principle. And our, our most important principle is that we should believe that God is only one. If He is one, He should have no son. If He is one, He should have no son. That's it, period. But He wants us to say to you, congratulations for the birthday of your God. I mean, it's normal. Every day people ask me, date of birth, please. <laughs> so are we allowed to say, oh God, your son's date of birth, please. Your son's date of birth, please. Can't be. So that is why if you tolerate things that are illogic, untrue, things that affect the oneness of God, the principle, the concept of monotheism, we're not going to bargain with you. And that doesn't make us hard, fussy, blunt, harsh. No. It is a matter of not giving up our principle. That's the whole case. Is it normal to you to say that God begot a child? And that child, he was a child. Then he became a boy. Then the boy became a man. Then the man died. And he's our God. After all these developments, from being a child in the cradle, taking a, a God, drinking the milk of his mother. God drinks the milk of his mother. But he's God. He got circumcised. But he's God, okay? Then he became a boy, playing, you know. But he's God. Then he became a man, able to get married. So the father got begot the son, and the son is able to beget, you know, uh, uh, to have offspring. When the God, the son, has a child, then God, the father, became God, the grandfather. Oh, my God. <laughs> How would you believe that? Oh, they would say to you, Jesus did not have the chance to get married. So he has no children. So therefore, we still maintain the fact that the God the Father did not become God the Grandfather. Well, the whole idea is paganic. As you, as you heard the man, Bat Robertson, saying, it's a pagan ritual that the Romans did not want to give up this belief, this pagan belief. So instead of keeping the name Mithra, they removed the name Mithra and they copied the same belief, the same rituals, but under the name of Jesus Christ. And you guys, since 2000 years, you're not trying to comprehend, to understand this fact. Because Christians are busy making life that they may live longer. This is their principle. The principle is to live longer, get more money, Make business. This is not the principle. The principle is the real life after this temporary station kind of life. Hmm. You should understand that. That is why we do not accept to celebrate. 
We may say to you, for example, when you say, um, when you say to me, Merry Christmas, I can say to you, enjoy, happy life. There's nothing wrong with that. But to say to you, Merry Christmas, congratulations for the, the delivering of Mary, that Mary delivered the son, well, she's supposed to be the wife of God, don't you? When you, God, when, you, when you give God a human nature, human nature tells you that the one who begets a child must be having a wife. So the whole idea is wrong. We Muslims are not supposed to be celebrating the birthday of Muhammad. Well, I know there are many people now they do that. Um, some of them, they have taken a copy of your innovation and they used it. But, the, you know, one, one said to me, all Muslims are celebrating the birthday of Muhammad except you. I said, no, not only me. The Prophet Muhammad is with me because he did not celebrate it. So I don't celebrate what he did not celebrate. Companions did not celebrate his birthday, so I do not celebrate his birthday. Christians celebrated the birthday of Jesus. We should not be like them. We should oppose them in this. So it is shameful that in the peninsula, in the United Arab Emirates, they paid something like 11 million, I don't know if it's dollars or dirham, well, I don't know. But what I read, 11 million dollars to build that big high Christmas tree. Imagine people be asked about how did they get the money? This is the grace of Allah. This is something that Allah enabled you to get from the depth of, of the earth. Black gold, the oil. This is the blessings of God Almighty. But don't think that since he gave you that blessings, you're not going to be asked about the details of spending and for what reason. Thank you very much. Goodbye.